Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Lego Jake here, long time no see, my bad on that one. <laughs> Been working a ton lately and just felt a little burnt out on gaming, so I figured I'd take a little break and come back stronger, rather than force out bad content, you know how it is, so... With that said, we are officially back, <laughs> and we're here to tackle one of the coolest survival horror games to date, based on my favorite horror movie series of all time. That's right, you just saw the title scream. We're going to be playing through Saw, the video game, and I'm very excited for this one. This game was actually my first introduction to the Saw movies before I'd even seen any of the Saw movies, so the nostalgia is kind of super high for me with this one. So without further ado, let us jump right into this, shall we? Alrighty, starting off the game in the reverse bear trap for lovers of the Saw franchise. That's a really great way to start the game, not gonna lie. Also, super easy puzzle to escape. Where are you, Jigsaw? I won't play your game. I won't! Well, I'm not sure what throwing your arms in the air and screaming is going to do to help the situation, but hey, on the bright side, here's a cool easter egg from the first movie when Dr. Gordon had to cut his leg off. <laughs> LOL. Very cool. But anyway, we have to get to solving this first puzzle here. Even though Detective Tapp said in that cutscene that we wouldn't play the game, we still very much are. <laughs> and this first puzzle is insanely easy. Each of the bathroom stalls has writing on it. You close each of the stall doors and view it backwards to see the combination for the lock on the door that leads to Phase 2 of our escape. I mean, pretty simple stuff, honestly. But we definitely gotta keep in mind that that's the first puzzle of the game. This game ramps up the difficulty and the puzzle-solving skills quite a bit as you go along. Starts to feel like Portal with how it makes your brain think hard. First, find the object in the toilet to unlock the bell. As for the toilet, I've gathered refuse from the obsessions of drug addicts. Now, detective, dig through others' discarded trash as you forced others to dig through yours. If either one of you fails in your task, the bombs in this room will detonate. I suggest you hurry. Y'all like how the guy in the other room immediately blames me? What did you do? Like, my boy, you were in that room before I was, what are you even talking about? Search the toilet for the fuse before you pass out from pain, then use the fuse on the fuse box to power the door. Press the green button. Alright, easy enough. Joink! <laughs> oh my god. A very funny gameplay mechanic. Shoving your hand in a dirty ass nasty toilet. Yum! Something not most people would want to do. 
Yeah, if you have a fuse, you can turn on fuse boxes, power doors, turn on lights, or even create deadly electric traps, because yes, you have to fight people in this game. Okay, we can all agree that guy deserved to get zapped by that door, right? Are you barefoot? Oh, shit, luck. Getting across that glass is gonna hurt. You aren't getting my shoes. Well, I didn't want your stinking shoes anyway. We're living the freaking risky life, bitch. No shoes. I mean, we can just avoid glass like that anyway and not get hurt by it, so... Not that complicated, buddy. Also, we got a health hypo, which, you know, you can click X and... Heal yourself up, which you could have done if you walked through the glass, but we didn't because we're smart. Also, if you press Y, you can turn on your light, and right now we just have a little lighter. But hey, it guides us through some of these spookier, dark sections where you'll end up finding a dead body, oh my god. That little scene there has the same energy as the Halloween Horror Nights Saw house, just saying. <laughs> I'll sacrifice the idea of a Lego saw set ever being made because that's probably too rated R. Yikers, pig face is so threatening, oh my god. And it also adds to the intensity knowing that Jigsaw, or at least one of his lackeys in the suit, is following us. Uh, construction is completed on the Whitehurst Asylum for the Insane. We've finally done it. I have told all the staff this ad nauseum, but I believe it bears repeating. I think we can all make a real difference here. We can change lives. I thank each and every one of you for your contributions. Daniel Whitehurst. Epic stuff, man. Epic. Very cool. I mean, to be fair, I don't really know who the hell Daniel Whitehurst is, but it's still pretty cool. Adds to the ambience of this already awesome asylum, man. Detective Tom will be here soon. This is the first victim of his obsession. He should be able to hear her, but she is drugged. Tap knows how the game works, and what will happen if he does not release her in time. Hide the key to her cell. Detective Tap can easily protect his witnesses. He's goddamn Danny Glover. What are you doing? Sorry, buddy. This is part of my game. Nothing personal. I'd grab something quick, though, if I was you. Just give me the key! Alrighty, so this is our first real moment of combat in the game so far. First of many, that is. And it's all really simple. You can either use your fists or pick up items around the world to help you out. You hold LT to enter your combat stance, A for light attack, X for heavy attack, and the B button to block. Pretty simple stuff. And uh, yeah, there's a ton of items around the game, weapons and junk, and each of them has an achievement tied to it. All these weapons are super easy to find, and the whole achievement list is really easy if we're being honest. You can get a full 100% completion in just about two places. Playthroughs, pretty awesome. No! You said you'd free me if I brought him here. My game is over. <laughs> And those are the type of cutscenes that made me put a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Absolutely gruesome stuff. But I also wanted to mention about cutscenes, there will not be this many through the entire game. This is just a beginning thing where they're kind of getting us acquainted. Many of you are wondering how to escape this place. The answer's simple. Find Detective David Tapp. I've concealed a key inside his body. This key is your only escape. Do what you must to survive. So basically... Everyone in this whole little asylum is out to get us because we have a key inside of us that uh, they can use to get out of here. I guess we could probably too, but 
it'd probably kill us. Jigsaw's booby trap doors in the asylum. Quickly press the appropriate button as the pulley descends. If you press the wrong button or fail to press the right button in time, you will get shotgun blasted. B. Yeah, so definitely be <laughs> careful because uh, they're all around this place. Booby trap doors and different traps and trip wires and stuff. It is so easy to die in this game. It happens all the time. I'm still not sure if I want to leave in some of the deaths and cut out some of them, cut out all the deaths, or just let you guys watch every single time I fail. Still unconfirmed on what I want to do here. So yeah, in case my explanation wasn't good enough, there was some footage of Jigsaw actually putting the key inside of Tap. Fantastic. Very cool. <laughs> it seems you were sloppy and got shot. I had someone repair the wound so you will live, but during the operation I used the opportunity to conceal a key inside your body. The key is useless to you, but not to others here. Survive. I doubt any of them have the surgical experience required to extract it without killing you. Okay, so that answers our question about earlier. We can't even use that key. <laughs> so everyone's just sort of after us, and we're just sort of, uh... A little bit of Jigsaw's bait, I guess. Some of the doors are rigged with lockpicking puzzles, so yes, in case it wasn't bad enough that Jigsaw already rigged some of the doors with shotgun blasts and tripwires are everywhere, we also need to lockpick our way through some doors. Don't remember that in any of the movies, but hey, at least the editing in some of the cutscenes is very much similar to the movies, it's very awesome. <laughs> But to actually explain this lockpick, all you have to do is line up the different colored pieces and make sure that each of them in a whole circle lines up with one another. It's incredibly easy. A baby could do it. Just saying. Swing that door open with some effort, Detective Tap. Wow, that was crazy. And get that one slammed right in your face, bitch boy. Oh snap, take a look everybody, it's an easter egg to the first movie once again when that fat guy was in the barbed wire even though he was in his underwear and he's in a suit right here, but okay. Man, some of these little audio files and manuscripts you find around this asylum add so much depth and lore to this game. It's so freaking cool. They really need to make this game into a fan film or something, I swear to god. <laughs> My name is Rose. I'm eight years old. My mommy says I have polio. Polio is bad. I have it worse than Uncle Jack. He can still walk, though he seems drunk. So now I'm in this machine. It breathes for me, so they call it an iron lung. The nurse says she will write all that I say once a day. Okay, well, helpful nurse. Well, that's not creepy at all. Eh? Eh? Little Jigsaw reference? Anybody remember that? <laughs> Uh, whatever. <laughs> to keep talking about the Saw movies, though, question of the day. How'd you guys feel about Spiral from the Book of Saw? I personally thought it was a total blast. Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson were fantastic. The traps were brutal and classic. The twists and turns through the whole story were wonderful. And overall, I just really enjoyed it. Seeing it is actually what sparked my motivation to come back and play this game. So honestly, let's all thank Saw for getting me out of my video game slump. Some of you have noticed the walls starting to buckle in some areas and some walls have become permeable. Please move all violent patients out of these rooms lest they break down the walls to escape. The construction manager told me that it's just the building settling. Yeah, I don't think so, especially with that uh, little notification there for breakable walls, which we can smash through with our items or even your fists. Yes, Detective Tap is strong enough to straight up punch through these walls in like three hits. Now that is impressive. And I'll tell you what else is impressive is finding that fuse, baby. One thing you'll learn about Saw the video game, if you find a fuse, then you're pretty much on your way to something special. You know, like that. Something special like a door opening up to your next trap. Let's check it out. So, usually I like to add in some tips and tricks of how to beat different bosses and puzzles in video games, but to keep it real with you guys, I did not understand this puzzle. I end up getting really lucky and I choose the right person, but uh I do not understand the strategy. I'm sorry. Detective Tab will be here soon. 
So here's more lockpicking stuff, slightly more annoying than the last lockpicking door where you just had to line up all the colors. This one you have to wait for the different buttons to con connect those little dots together, and then you have to click the button at the right time. Kind of frustrating. I ended up picking the body that had the tape recorder next to it. That made the most sense to me, and it ended up being the right one where we grabbed the key just like we did with the nasty toilet earlier. Detective Tap is a professional at shoving his hands in places that shouldn't have his hand in. Yet you did not learn your lesson. I'm sorry, okay? I couldn't help it. Of course you could. You chose to let your addiction consume you again and again. Okay, so for all of you who might be wondering, yes, that was Amanda on the TV being tested, who in this non-canon version of Saw, got tested, then sort of pretend tested in Saw 2, then was part of a test in Saw 3 and technically 4 if you know that twist, and now she's being tested again. <laughs> God damn, if that ain't the shittiest luck of all time, then I really don't know what is. Uh, anyway, with that dead body test that we just did finished up and the doorway open opened up, that'll about wrap up episode 1 of our Saw the Video Game Let's Play. I really hope you guys had fun, I know I did, and I can't wait to see you all once again for episode 2. I will see you all then. This is Lego Jake, signing out.